Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. What if Ryanair operated the Airbus A380? Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. As always with my What If series, I intend to explore crazy and most likely unrealistic scenarios within the aviation industry and analyse in depth the impacts these scenarios would have on the industry, aircraft programs, airlines themselves, and passengers. In today's video, I'll be exploring what if Ryanair operated the Airbus A380. I should mention that although I'm using the Airbus A380 as an example, you could quite easily swap the A380 out with the 7478 or the 777. Ryanair are a low-cost carrier founded in 1984 and headquartered currently in Dublin, Ireland. However, the airline has a fantastic presence throughout Europe, with operational bases at London Stansted and of course Dublin. The airline has been known for its rough landings as well, and its no-frills service, which is essentially a flight which holds none of the non-essential features. This in turn keeps the prices low, and has made Ryanair quickly rise to the top and overtake their competition. However, what exactly would happen if Ryanair operated the Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger jet? Firstly, we need to analyse the Ryanair fleet. The airline operates a fleet of Boeing 737-800s, and honestly, it's quite a lot of them to say the least. While it also has a good 135 737 MAX 200s on order, so we can firmly say that they are an all Boeing operating airline. So clearly, if Ryanair plunged into the Airbus market to order an A380, it would come as quite a shock and possibly leave Boeing pondering what could have been if they had put forward their 7478 instead. What about the business model though? A business model can be defined as a company's plan for how it will generate revenues and in turn make a profit. With airlines, this can be done through multiple things, like advertising deals. However, it's mainly done through the planes that a specific airline will operate. Obviously now, narrow-body aircraft like the 737 series and in future the 737 MAX series are what drive the revenue for Ryanair. While not with the 737s, Emirates and their A380s is another fantastic example of what a business model is. The airline operates an extensive fleet of A380s and 777s, and this is what drives their revenue. Ryanair's business model is to transport passengers throughout Europe at essentially affordable prices, which of course is attractive to consumers. In fact, over the last decade, ultra-low-cost carriers, or ULCCs, have risen up through the ranks and put serious pressure on the already big established airlines. An example is the current situation with Norwegian and British Airways. The competitive pricing that Norwegian offers for similar flights that British Airways offer have resulted in it taking a fair chunk of the market. This has led to the IAG attempting to purchase the airline to essentially remove that threat altogether. So if Ryanair were to acquire the Airbus A380, one could certainly argue, while it could be extremely cool to see and maybe fly on, it simply wouldn't fit their business model. Next, it's a pretty obvious point I'd like to bring up, that being capacity. It isn't a lie that the Airbus A380 can hold far more passengers than the 737s or even an A320. Typically, airlines configure the A380 to fit around 500 passengers, usually in three classes. However, Emirates do have a number in a two-class configuration, and obviously this is going to vary depending on the airline's preferences. As we know, ANA's A380s will have four classes and more passengers than 500. So, as mentioned, it's really going to vary again depending on the airline's demands. The added capacity for Ryanair would in fact be a huge bonus, but we now head back to their business model. In regards to configuring the plane, like into your business, premium economy and economy, it's important to realise that this isn't really Ryanair. As mentioned earlier in the video, Ryanair pride themselves on their no-frills service. Therefore, it wouldn't really surprise me to see Ryanair configure their A380 to an all-economy double-decker plane, and therefore become the airline operating an aircraft with the largest capacity possible. That number 
while it could actually reach over 800, depending on the legroom, seat width, and so on that Ryanair eventually choose. Added capacity also means something else, more importantly, the ability to free up their 737s. This is depending again on if they remove some of their 737s when they take an A380 in. If Ryanair, let's say, ordered 10 Airbus A380s, 800 times 10 is 8,000 seats. Their 737s now hold 189 passengers. That means for 10 Airbus A380s, you could essentially free up 42 737s. This is a huge plus for further expanding the Ryanair network. Next, let's talk routes. While I keep reiterating that it's against the business model of Ryanair to be operating the A380, let alone flying such a large aircraft, the potential change in a business model could be on the cards. Through Ryanair receiving the A380, they would have two options. Place it on existing flights, which are served multiple times a day by the 737s, or actually begin new services to America, and start rivaling Norwegian, British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and so on. A key to them would be their competitive prices that they would likely have on offer, and this would be similar to what Norwegian have done. While it may seem all positive and exciting, there ultimately are a lot of negatives associated with Ryanair operating the A380, which of course I'm going to dive into now to give you both sides of this particular situation. Ryanair firstly is a budget airline. The airline offers economy seats, and if you're lucky, you'll get a decent amount of legroom and some good food as well. But of course you're going to need to pay because it all fits in with their no frills service. As I touched on very briefly earlier, the A380 is typically designed to house three classes. Usually the most common choice among airlines is economy, business, and first. I somewhat doubt that Ryanair would really suit the A380, let alone be able to fill it up. This leads me on to the next negative, which is the principles of the airline. If Ryanair operated the A380, they would need to modify all its principles of functions to tie in with their new purchase. This would then cost them more money than they are likely to be making from operating the A380. This ties in very nicely with my next point. The A380s use quite a fair bit of fuel and are designed to operate intercontinental flights, not short one hour flights from let's say London Stansted to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. If by some miracle Ryanair were filling their A380 without a spare seat on these short hops across Europe, there's simply no way that for the prices they'd like to be offering, and of course what they offer now to fly on their Boeing 737s, that they would be making money. It simply would not be efficient for them. As you can now tell, there's more disadvantages than advantages to this particular scenario. And next, I want to discuss the airports in which the A380 would operate to. Ryanair would receive a huge capacity boost from the A380s, but right now the 737s allow them to operate to all corners of Europe, as it's quite standard nowadays for a typical airport to be able to handle the Boeing 737. Whereas the A380 is the complete opposite. In fact, some airports actually needed to undergo works just to accommodate the world's largest passenger plane. So Ryanair's A380s would now essentially be limited in where they operate. Here are a few locations which the airline could operate the A380s to. Milan, Moscow, Paris, Rome, Zurich, Madrid, Manchester, and Nice. While it seems all doom and gloom, Ryanair could just sell the majority of their 737s and roll simply on with the A380. This seems like a positive outcome, right? While unfortunately it's incorrect, if Ryanair decided to sell the majority, if not all, of their Boeing 737s, the value of these jets would actually drop. With so many planes on the market in such a small time frame, these jets will become unwanted, and similar to some houses and cars, the prices would continue to drop until they are eventually picked up by an airline, or even potentially sent to the scrap or graveyards. We're seeing a similar situation with the Airbus A380s that previously operated with Singapore Airlines. As you've probably seen, they're going to be scrapped for parts, and that's simply because we could not find a customer. To conclude, I would like to see an airline like Ryanair, even EasyJet operate the Airbus A380, 777, or even the 7478. I think it'd be pretty awesome to see a budget carrier fly such a large aircraft. 
but by the time you analyse just a few of the key advantages and disadvantages, it just becomes evident that this isn't feasible. Let me know though, would you want to see a Ryanair A380? Also, do you believe the landings would be better on board the A380 than the 737? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for watching this video of mine and also the continued support on every single video I publish. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, a like would be very much appreciated. I look forward to you all joining me in the next installment of DJ's Aviation.